Welcome to Joe's Astrology. This is the birth chart for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. He's a soccer player, footballer. And I really don't know much about him, so this is going to be completely, just about completely blind. But let's take a look here. You can see his rising is the is Gemini. His rising is in Gemini, 27 degrees. His sun is in Libra. And his moon is in Sagittarius. Right there. So let's take a look at his rising. The rising is in Gemini. The ruler being Mercury. And it is in Scorpio. So the ruler of his rising is in Scorpio, which is ruled by Mars and Pluto. So a great uh, a great planet to have ruling your rising for an athlete. It's in Scorpio. Because Scorpio, like I said, being ruled by Mars. Mars being associated with athleticism, combat, competitiveness. Mercury, the mind. And we can see if we, if we follow Mercury here, that three degrees is at three degrees Scorpio. And if we look at the third house, in this chart we have Leo as being, I'm sorry, Cancer as being the uh, third house cusp. So the ruler of the third house cusp is the moon, and the moon is here in the sixth so we can see that this guy his mind he's got a very emotional mind he's very probably very passionate with the moon there uh, or cancer being on the third house cusp and the, rule, the ruler moon is in Sagittarius and it's in the Aries decan so this is a guy with the Sagittarius Aries combination there probably likes to play games he's thinking about playing games he's thinking about traveling he's thinking about improvement there it's in the sixth house of self-improvement thinking about getting better and it's conjunct Neptune Neptune the planet of dreams with this moon uh, moon Neptune combination this is a guy who is a big thinker uh, could somebody who's living a dream life I think of the some sayings I think I'm thinking of for that is like dreams come true because it's in the sixth house the sixth house is like more practical as I said self-improvement and uh, with Neptune there like dreaming Dreaming of the possibilities and making them come true. Come back to this Mercury here. See if it's making any aspects. It is in a loose conjunction with Pluto there, the other ruler of Scorpio. So uh, that makes that Mercury even more powerful. And how we think of Scorpio, we think of power, intense, strategic. And with Pluto there, uh, it's making all the Scorpio themes even more, uh, even more emphasized. It also has Pluto with Jupiter. So really, when we look at Pluto here, it's got Pluto with Jupiter, Mercury. So we're adding to this Scorpio here. Uh, Pluto is making a sextile to Mars, which is a very important aspect. Pluto and Mars for an athlete it makes somebody very. Um, Intense, powerful. I think power when I think Pluto Mars. Very ambitious. It's also making a square to the nodes. We see there, and it's making a trine to the ascendant. So this is a very Plutonian Scorpio type person. Even though if you look at this chart, you don't even, as I mentioned, you don't see Pluto involved in the big three. But when you look at that ruler of the rising, Mercury, and start to see the connections there. You see how much more involved Pluto is. Mars, Mars. Speaking of uh, Pluto, back to this Mars. It's making a sextile to Saturn. It's making a trine to the Moon. So this Mars is very much involved. It's also on the fourth house cusp. So the entire planet is on a, in an angular house. The first, the fourth, the seventh, the tenth. We see it, it, it's it's amplified. So Mars is a big part of this guy's life, as I mentioned with Scorpio. It's also here in Leo. So this is a guy who, um, you know, he wants to be on the stage. He he might even he he wants to be seen. He might even be somebody who tests the boundaries um, through his work. He may be somebody who does things differently. We see that it's making a loose square to Uranus, and he has a Venus conjunct Uranus. And as and as Uranus is. 
exactly in conjunct to that rising. So this is a guy that may do things differently. He may be seen different. He may do extraordinary work on the internet. Uh, there was, might be something in his life that challenges him when it comes to doing things different or being uh, doing things that make him stand out. Saturn as well. It's like a Mars and Saturn is, is being involved in competition and athleticism and he has Saturn conjunct the sun here and it's in Libra but in Libra Saturn is uh, exalted in Libra the sun being in its fall in, in Libra but is with Saturn so that's going to make it a little bit different as if it was alone by itself in Libra so there's much more I can be said about this chart um, I'm going to leave it there for now if you're interested and more, let me know down in the comments and check out my channel for more uh, analysis of famous people. There's astrological analysis.